everyone, Ray here. Welcome to today's video. Before we jump on in, if you enjoyed these videos and would like to support my channel, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. Let me know in the comments if there's any topics or characters you'd like me to cover, or hop on over to my Discord. You can find the link in the description. Yoimiya's banner is once again unfortunately replaced. Last time she was sandwiched between fan favourite Ayaka and the almighty Raiden Shogun. This time she's out alongside fan favourite Kazuha and on the cusp of 3.0 with the grand debut of Dendro. Those are some Bennett-esque levels of bad luck. So today I bring you 10 reasons why you should pull on Yoimiya's banner. Reason number 10. You like cute blonde characters. Yomiya does have a really cute design, and one of the things I like most about certain character designs is how much movement they have, like swishy capes or dresses. Yomiya has this large bow, which is very buoyant and it makes this outfit really fun. Reason number 9. Pew, pew, pew. The Traveller has made many a friend on their journey. Few are as out there and vivacious as Yomiya, so she has really great characterization, is very friendly, and it's kind of a breath of fresh air. Reason number 8. Blazing match. Yomiya has a unique passive talent that refunds a portion of the materials used when crafting certain items for the Serena teapot. Currently she's the only character in the roster with a talent like this, and actually one of only a few characters with a completely unique talent. Reason number 7. The Candy Pearl. You see this darling little hair accessory? It's full of candy. Reason number 6. You like archers. Yomiya is an archer and if that's your kind of thing, then you probably wouldn't mind adding another to your team. Reason number five, you're a big fan of fireworks. Yomiya is a firework maker, and speaking of fireworks, she also has a special charge shot that blasts off up to three fireworks alongside her regular arrows. Reason number four, you like really big fireworks. Yomiya has a really cool burst that's like a big firework show, and it can allow Yomiya to switch out and still provide damage while off-field, or pair with another off-field damage dealer. Reason number three, Niwabi Fire Dance. Her elemental skill makes her a great ranged elemental damage dealer, and there are many combinations with other characters that provide off-field elemental damage that she pairs really well with for elemental reactions. Reason number two, Tricks of the Troublemaker. During her skill, each hit gives an extra 2% pyro damage, and you can just watch the damage go up, up and away. And finally, the number one reason to pull on Yoimiya's banner. You skipped her last time, and you don't want to make the same mistake again. Yoimiya is a great character, and if these 10 reasons haven't convinced you, then head on over to my Let's Play Yoimiya video for a closer look at her skills and talents, and maybe that'll do the trick. So that's all we have for today, and I hope you enjoyed this countdown. Today's question of the day is what character do you feel is the most underrated? For me, it is probably Yoimiya and Xinyan, but let me know what you think down in the comments. There are more interesting characters and topics coming soon like Haizo, boss takedowns and D-Look, so if you'd like to see them, please hit that subscribe button. Or if there's something else you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. But for now, see you next time. Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever.